Hello and welcome to Computer Science 20S. This is Scratch Lesson 1. After this lesson, you'll be familiar with Scratch uh, programming environment and have written some short codes as well as created an online account with Scratch. Uh, you'll also understand the need for code documentation. So first of all, uh, what is Scratch? Uh, there's a link here on the screen. There's also a link available in the um, Schoology section as well. I'd encourage you to click on that. Watch a couple of those videos. They're only two or three minutes long just to get an idea of what Scratch is all about. Uh, and then we're going to jump right in. So pause this video and maybe come back to it. Check out a couple of these Scratch videos here and then come back to me. All right, so hopefully you had a chance to, to have a look at one or two of those videos about Scratch. Um, <clears throat> we're going to jump right in here. This is the Scratch interface, as you probably saw in one of the videos. We'll just go around the around the horn kind of thing here. Um, let's start over here. Probably the most important part right here is green flag. That's a way to start the scripts right there. So that green flag is sort of what gets things going. Uh, there's a way, you, presentation mode, you can sort of full screen things or small screen things. This is the, called the stage. It's where everything sort of happens. It's the, it's the screen that you would get, the, the play area, I guess you could say. Um, new sprite buttons are, are down here. You can either paint your own, you can import some, or you can get a random one. Uh, this is the list of all the sprites, all the characters that are going to occur in your, in your scripts right in here. Uh, they can be renamed currently. The default is to have... Uh, Scratch himself, that's the sprite, his cat, and he's just listed as sprite number one. And they'll, they'll automatically rename them sprite one, sprite two, and so on. You can rename them. I would encourage you to do that. Uh, this is the script area. This is where you're going to do uh, all of your work. This is where the coding takes place, where all the instructions take place in this area here. This is called the blocks palette. These are all the different instructions that you have available to you. And you'll notice that there's eight different menus. There's motion and looks and sound and pen and so on. They're all color coded. Quite often I forget where things are, and you will too. You might have to scroll through them. But again, this is the list of all the instructions that you can use to create your script. Um, the sprites themselves have different rotational styles. You can either uh, allow them to rotate or not. That's in here. You can play around with that a little bit if you like. And the current sprite info is in here. Uh, the name is, that's where you would change the name right there. Uh, tabs, you can uh, work with the sprites individual scripts. You can change their costume, their looks, and you can also include sounds with the different sprites. So there's lots going on here in Scratch. Scratch, it looks a little bit childish, but it's actually quite powerful. And in fact, the newer version, Scratch 2.0, actually has quite a few um, features. Um, the X and Y positions of the mouse on the stage are displayed here, in the bottom right-hand corner of the stage. Um, you should get familiar with the positions and sort of be able to move your way around the stage. Um, zero, zero, I believe, is right in the middle of the stage. To the right is positive. I believe up is positive as well. Okay, so let's run our first code. I'd like you to grab uh, from the control tab, I'd like you to grab the when green flag clicked. And from the, I think it's the looks tab, I'd like you to grab the say hello. And then I'd like you to run it by pressing the green flag button. Okay, and you should get the cat saying hello for your first first program. Um, let's talk about comments right here. Um, it's very important. Um, it's a good idea to put comments in to explain the script that you've written by right-clicking on the gray scripts area and choosing add comment. Uh, here's an example right here. It's kind of like a little sticky. This says this script will move the sprite forward by 50 steps. Pause for a second and then move back 50 steps. So it's probably overly detailed. Um, you don't need to comment quite that detailed. Um, but it is considered in standard industry practice to comment or document your code. Uh, you should get in the habit of doing it while you code. Uh, many students try to do it once their program is all done. They go in and they try to document it. Probably not the best way to do it uh, for lots of reasons. One being if you decide to delete a bunch of stuff and you've spent time uh, trying to figure out what you're actually deleting, you might not know exactly. You might delete more. Uh, don't worry about deleting comments. Um, you might think it's a waste of time. It's not. Uh, if you talk to students that have gone on from the school here, gone on to take computer science at higher levels, you'll find that over and over and over again, they always say, yes, comments are important. The bigger the program gets, the more important the comments are. So it's a really good idea to get in the habit of doing it. And I will be reminding you many times. Uh, don't forget to save your work using the little 
floppy disk icon that is a little bit outdated now, but still seems to be used for um, saving icons. Uh, you should note that when you're running things here in Scratch, I'm going to start up my version, uh, don't go save here, don't save to your username here. You have to go computer and you have to select your H drive uh, that has your name on it. So make sure you are saving to your H drive here. Okay? Give it a good name that you'll recognize um, and so on. Obviously you click OK when you're done. Okay, so here's just a couple of exercises for you to try. To begin with, I'd like you to assemble the commands from the control and motion areas of Scratch, write a description of what happens on the script when the green flag is clicked. So go ahead and try this little code here, see what happens. Maybe I'll make this a bit bigger for you to see. Go ahead and try that code, uh, play with it a little bit. Feel free to edit, do whatever you want, to sort of play around with that a little bit. And the second one here, uh, using Scratch, write a script that will do the following. Move a sprite to the starting position 5070, turn the sprite upside down glide for two seconds towards that position and then turn the sprite upwards again. So just a little introductory kind of thing to play with. Give that a whirl. Uh, there is a code called FishChomp. Uh, it's available on Schoology. I'm not sure if you can download or not. If you're at home, you certainly probably can. Uh, it's also available on the iDrive under Computer Science. You should be able to follow through the folders and find FishChomp. Uh, you can go ahead and play that game, try it out, change it however you like, make some edits, play around with that get used to Scratch. I'd also encourage you to go online and make a Scratch account. There's wonderful resources there. You can uh, talk to people, uh, get help with your codes, uh, publish some of your codes, um, sort of an online community. So I would encourage you to do that. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you next lesson.